So when making my gingerbread houses, I first had to come up with the idea and the theme. This theme that I'm, I've come up with is for um, the town in which I grew in, which is a lot of holiday memories. So I grabbed each key component building that I find very important to me. And then in order to create that, I need to turn gingerbread to me as a cookie. So I need to make the cookie cutters for that. And we call them templates. So these templates that I've created, I've created every one of these structures that I'm going to be doing out of cardboard. So I take um, the image and then I transfer it into um, geometrics and measurements and then I cut it into cardboard. This is what we're going to end up doing. Um, so I have it laid out here in template form. So we're going to first, um, the candy store, it's going to be here, it's going to be um, yellow siding and then green fondant poured sugar windows flooded with uh, brick popping out of the plaster this is going to be all this is the smokehouse this is going to be all wood grain and all gingerbread and then brushed to make it look like it's smoke to make this wood grain effect that we're going to be using all I do is take my gingerbread and just score back and forth and it creates this wood grain effect and then after it bakes, it ends up looking like that. This is the church. This is going to be all um, fondant stones um, and then uh, poured stained glass windows. To make the stones, what I do is I take some white fondant and some black fondant. And all I do is I just work this together and just keep working it until I get that marbling effect that I'm looking for. And I try not to over mix it. We end up with something like that. Then I just take a piece off and I individually roll. And I just make random little stones. To do the facade of the church, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just going to put some raw icing down. Like so. And I'm just gonna take my finger, I'm just gonna spread this out. Cause I'm gonna then embed all of, all of the stones in this. Over here is the farmer's market and this is going to be gingerbread with fondant accents. This one is going to be pretzel hut and this is going to be um, uh, fondant bricks um, and then a little stone base at the bottom. Uh, in the center that's going to have the sign and since it's Lebanon and known for the cedar trees I'm going to have little evergreens in that. When I make my gingerbread um, a little different recipe that I have is I actually take my honey and my high ratio shortening and I boil that together and then I also add my sugar. And that gets all boiled together and that's going to give me my snap and my crispness that I need. This I will then dissolve all the granules in this sugar and then it will be a smooth syrup. From here I need to cool it down. I can do it two ways. I can either put it in the freezer to cool it down quickly or in the refrigerator. Um, but I just want to cool it down. I don't have to have it cold. So now my honey, sugar and uh, fat mixture has cooled enough that I can add it to my dry ingredients. And I have here my spices, my baking powder, and then my bread flour. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the machine on. Make sure I'm on first speed. And then I'm gonna slowly pour in the syrup. I'm gonna mix this until it forms a paste. And then at that time, I'm gonna add my eggs and a little bit of water to finish it out. So here's my finished uh, gingerbread dough and then after that I'm going to transfer it onto my sheet pans and then it'll get cool and as you can see it gets fairly firm then.